sense. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, the, the story I pointed out from the Post actually predated WikiLeaks, the story on the Obama administration concluding that Iran was, was um, being helped by China in terms of the development of its nuclear weapons and its missile technology. And it comes from a story last month, uh, our uh, State Department Special Advisor for Nonproliferation presented Chinese officials with what was called a significant list of companies and banks that were assisting Iran with its missile and nuclear technology. I think what concerns us is, as the Wall Street Journal said yesterday, uh, China's role in Iran's procurement activities is growing. It's on the upswing. And we know that China looks the other way as weapons trade between North Korea and the Islamic Republic of, of, of Iran ends up entrenching both regimes. And that reality pours cold water on the latest UN sanctions resolution that the administration uh, lauds this morning, a resolution that put congressional sanctions on the back burner. And I can't help but feel a sense of lost time. But, as uh, Stuart Levy has pointed out, the new legislation does include potent new financial sanctions. And these are patterned after Section 311 of the Patriot Act, which was once used to great effect on North Korea, which brings me, Stuart, to my question. Um, I remember when, when that was imposed, the Bank of Delta Asia, and it had a certain effect on the hard currency that ended up uh, being constricted from the hands of the regime. And I thought you might want to uh, lay out for us what the effect was on North Korea at the time. And um, there, it worked probably because there was some concern about reputational risk on the part of the banks that participated in that effort. But uh, I, I'd also ask you, is it possible that Chinese banks today would be concerned about reputational risk and therefore could, this could be just as effective? But let's go, let's go through the effect of it, if you would. Um, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Royce. Uh, you're referring to an action that we took under the Patriot Act uh, back in 2005, I believe, to designate a bank in Macau as being a primary money laundering concern under, under, the, under the Patriot Act, under Section 311. And to summarize quickly, the, the overall effect was it led banks around the world to stop doing business with North Korea uh, because we had put into the public domain a catalog of the kind of illicit activity that North Korea engages in, and the fear that banks had that they might be inadvertently swept up into that led the responsible financial institutions to say it wasn't worth the risk to continue doing business with North Korea. I think, as I said to Mr. Ackerman, I think North Korea was a, a more contained target, if you will. Uh, and so we've applied some of the same principles in going after the uh, Iranian uh, strategy in that there's a, a much broader integration into the financial system that we're already dealing with. And I think just one action like that wouldn't have had the same dramatic effect. But we have drawn upon the same uh, principle, which is that reputable financial institutions will not want to do business if they fear that they might get caught up in illicit activity like Iran's nuclear uh, procurement, its missile procurement, its support for terrorism, and so forth. And that is the reason why we've had the ability to uh, have the effect we've had thus far in the banks. And we had already had a significant effect. And then Sasada uh, dramatically increased it uh, because it uh, created a situation where any bank that continued to do business with the banks that we had already pointed out uh, is, is now at risk of losing access to the U.S. financial system. It made, if you will, uh, a, a multiplier effect on our designations, and it has had a dramatic effect thus far. Uh, and to come down to the, your final point, which is I think that that effect even applies uh, with respect to Chinese banks. Uh, as, as many people have expressed, and uh, as, as Bill has said, uh, we're, we're quite concerned about the role of China in this whole uh, strategy, and we'll continue to press it. But we do have one thing going in our favor, which is that 
Chinese financial institutions seek to have a global uh, a business model and a global footprint, and therefore they do take these sort of reputational um, uh, concerns seriously, and that gives us the ability to be uh, somewhat persuasive with them. My only regret, Mr. Chairman, was, was that those sanctions were ultimately listed, uh, lifted, and I think um, you know it's sanctions enforcement. It's sanctions enforcement. The stakes are too high for subtlety. It's the enforcement that's going to get the demonstrative effect. Thank you, Mr.